Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And I am here today with another quick and easy recipe for banana pudding pie. So let me tell you what you're going to need. You're gonna need about a cup of crushed vanilla wafers. You're going to need a graham cracker pie crust. Now I am using the pecan pie crust. You can use a nut-based pie crust or just a regular graham cracker crust, it doesn't matter. It just needs to be nine inches. You're also going to need some milk, whipped topping, a banana or two, cream cheese, and instant vanilla pudding. I'll make sure to put the recipe in the description box so that you guys will have the ingredients. So let's put this all together. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is take my banana, and I've already sliced it up, and I'm just going to put the slices on the bottom of the pie crust. Now, Howard and I are not huge banana people, so I'm just using um, one banana. I'm actually not gonna use the entire thing, but if you like bananas, you can definitely add at least two bananas. And now I'm going to work on the filling. So in my bowl, I have my cream cheese and it is softened and at room temperature. To that, I'm gonna add probably about a half a cup of milk. I'm gonna add in my pudding. Okay, so after I added the rest of the milk, I beat the mixture for about two minutes, and this is the texture that you're looking for. So now I'm gonna take about a third of the whipped topping, and this is an eight ounce container. I'm gonna take about a third of that, third of that, and just add it into the mixture. So next, I'm just gonna pour the mixture into the pie crust. And I have a little bit of mixture left, but I don't want to overfill my crust. And then I'm going to top it with some additional whipped topping. Next, you're gonna take your crushed vanilla wafers and just sprinkle them over the top. So next, you're going to cover and refrigerate your pie for about three to four hours, and I will be back to show you the finished product. So here is the pie. Um, mine was in the fridge for about five hours, and as you can see, I cut a slice out so you could see um, what it looks like. And you know, as you remember, I did not add a ton of bananas. Uh, because Howard and I aren't crazy about bananas. We like banana pudding though. <laughs> so, um, and here is the slice on the plate. And it is so good, so light and fluffy and delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.